Hi everybody, welcome to another segment of Cafecito Minutes. On today's segment, I actually just wanna talk a little bit about how all this got started for me and why I decided to go ahead and put myself out there in terms of creating a YouTube channel and creating an online presence for myself. So it kind of started maybe two or three years back. I was working at a corporate job. I actually, you know, I got this position, which was a lower position than what I wanted, as well as a lower position in terms of my experience. But I took on a role that was not right for me in the hopes of getting a better role inside the company. Um, fast forward two years later, that better role never happened. I applied for different roles within the company, but it seemed that they wanted to keep me in one particular place. So as time went by, my level of frustration grew more and more. And really, um, it turned out that I actually got sick and um, I got sick with a stomach ulcer and um, I guess that experiences are different for everybody, but for me, it really, really brought me down, not only physically, but also mentally. It was the most mentally challenging time in my whole life. Um, looking back now, I recall that I was severely depressed and depressed to the point that I was, this close to taking antidepressants. I even went to my psychiatrist and had him prescribe me antidepressants. Um, I took one and immediately I actually threw up and um, I couldn't take it. My body was just not gonna handle it. And I think it was more my subconscious mental mind was telling me, you got this, you don't need this. I'm gonna teach you and I'm gonna show you how to come back to yourself. So it was a very long road of recovery and a very long road in figuring out how did I get here and how to feel better. I was at a point sometimes that I couldn't leave just two or three miles from my house without having an anxiety attack, without freaking out, thinking that I needed to be in home, at home, in my bed, near my safety zone. That was all that was comforting to me at that time. And what helped me was the world of podcasts. That's really what opened my mind up to the possibility of doing something new, even if I hadn't studied that particular something. But if you felt so pulled towards it, then it must be for a reason. And it was in discovering podcasts and discovering that I could do something else. And it didn't matter if I didn't have a degree in that particular area, I could still be successful because every day I was listening to women, men, and people from all walks of life becoming successful doing what they love. So I had to really figure out what did I love? What did I wanna do? I knew a couple of things that I was good at. I've always been good with communication. I've always been good at making friends with people. I've always been very good at instantaneously making connections with others. But how was I gonna make that a living? How was I gonna take being really friendly and having great communication into a business. So I really racked my brain around for about a year, year and a half while I stayed at my corporate job. All along, I was creating a plan, a plan to leave that job and to work for myself. Um, I consider myself a very blessed person. My family has had a business for 30 years. My father came from Cuba at 33 years old and he worked so, so hard and put time and effort and he created a company out of nothing, without a loan, without any money from anyone. I saw how hard work and discipline absolutely pay, pays off. 
And in the same token, my blessings also come from the fact that my father created this company and 30 years later, we still have inventory and we still have something to use and something that we um, now I have inherited. So I decided to take the leap of faith and rebrand my parents' 30-year wholesale business into the online business. I left my corporate job. I was so excited. I was like, that's it. I'm going to eat up the world. I'm going to sell all of these pieces online. I'll figure out a way. And I definitely have figured out a way. I don't know the whole solution yet. I don't think that we're ever gonna know the whole solution, right? Life is about figuring it out. Life is about throwing yourself out there. And I had to throw myself out there. I had to leave my extremely cushiony job. I could have stayed there the rest of my life. I could have still been there right now, but I would have hated who I was. I was already hating who I was before, so much so I denied myself so much that I physically got sick. And it was through the physical sickness that I got mentally sick and that's what actually triggered the awakening for me. I couldn't sit around and let my life pass me by. I was going to work, coming home, and literally I would be laying in bed watching Netflix the rest of the night waiting for some dinner, and then waking up and doing it again. I wasn't living life, and I definitely was not walking in the path that I was supposed to be in here on this earth. I believe that we all have a path. I believe that we all come here with strengths from the other side. Strengths that we sometimes push aside and we don't realize that we have them. I want you to challenge yourself to figure out what your strengths are. I wanna challenge you to ask yourself, am I really happy waking up every day and putting my time and energy into someone else's hopes and someone else's dreams? When is it gonna be your time? I'm gonna tell you, it is not easy working for yourself. It is not easy having to dictate your own schedule. But once you start figuring out what are your priorities, what are your values, what do you want out of life, and learn how to get that yourself, not relying on someone else to give you that, you are going to be so much happier. It is not going to be easier. It absolutely is going to be harder. It is way harder for me to dictate my own time. It is way harder for me to have to find my clients as well as be the salesperson and be the creative person and be everything because that's what it is. At the beginning of a business, you are absolutely everything. You have to do everything. It's not easier but it's a hundred times more rewarding and you're never ever gonna regret it. I promise that you will regret if you let the best years of your life go by and work for someone else. You will regret that. You will never regret taking a chance on yourself. So please start listening to people that you like, start turning on to different ideas, challenge yourself. I did it, there's many people that have done it, I'm still doing it, I'm on that road, it's not easy, but I'm here, and if you wanna join this road of entrepreneurship, please come and join me on my channel, join my community, let's create a bigger community, let's create a community of people, of women, of Latinas, that stands up, a community of Latinas that believe in themselves so much, that we bet on us. Thank you for joining me on today's segment and as always, salute.